oh yeah, we're still going, it's calm one online. Boom. Okay, can we just start off this digital lesson with a big wah, wah? Because today, we're going to be talking about group speeches. Group context, group roles, group types, and let's be honest. Groups and teams sound so good in theory. Yay! Fun! But I have yet to meet many people who like working in groups, let alone doing group projects or presenting in them. In fact, just mentioning the words group work in the classroom usually makes people not like me very much at all. Because group work brings up so many stressors, challenges, questions. Is everyone going to do their work? When are we going to meet? What will my grade be? Do I get a bad grade because they get a bad grade? Am I right? No joke. Working and presenting in groups can be really hard work. And it requires people to showcase a level of group harmony by syncing their efforts and this can be achieved by building rapport and cohesion in a group, sharing tasks like talk time, and being responsible for your share of the workload. But group work can also, I know, hang in there with me, be really rewarding. There, I said it. In the communication department, for example, we really appreciate the opportunity to team teach or work in groups. Really, the ability to delegate long to-do lists of tasks to the individuals who have maybe the passion, talent, or best skill set to carry out the individual tasks. So yes, group work and group presentations take time which is why we will not be doing a group speech in this online class. But the efforts can truly pay off when a group works together to create a dynamic, organized, and interactive presentation. So, when might you have to do a group speech? Hopefully you won't. But in case you do, let me give you a few tips. Sometimes you might have to do a group speech at work. Think, for example, of a sales team presentation, maybe at a company or um, during a monthly check-in, maybe as a research or development team for a nonprofit organization, perhaps as a PR group or a sports team or a national brand. There are many, many other work contexts or vocational contexts where you would have to give a group presentation. There are also a vocational context or speeches, basically outside of work occasions, when a group speech might be required. Maybe for another class that you're taking, a community meeting or a committee that you sit on, or even a conference presentation one day. Now, each one of us has our strengths and our weaknesses when it comes to working in groups. So let's talk a little bit about how those unfold. For some, your skill set lies in the task itself, and so you would be best at performing group roles, roles that focus on getting the actual job done, making the PowerPoint, preparing a script, running the presentation, making sure all the templates are in sync, and the like. You know if that's you, and you also know if you are better at the social roles. This is somebody who maybe is an empath, or likes to think of themselves as a group mediator, someone who can help with facilitation, maybe help the group stay on task, showcase group leadership, or even keep the group laughing if they need to be. And then there's individual roles that we can all fulfill. This is where you stop and ask yourself, what am I responsible for? And either step up to the plate or continue working on the plate, right, by fulfilling your individual responsibilities as part of a larger group. Maybe it's doing the research or part of the outline, 
putting together the presentation enhancer or doing the conclusion. Now, there are some types of speeches that naturally lend themselves to group presentation dynamics. Here are some of the most common, more formal types of group speeches that you may run into, many of which are elaborated upon in great detail in Chapter 18 of the Public Speaking Project online free textbook. First, a debate. You're familiar with these, and if you're interested in this style of speaking, I would suggest that you definitely take an argumentation class. Here, you'll learn the structures and strategies to engage in a civil dialogue in a debate format. Another type is a forum, and forums tend to adopt sort of a question and answer format. Often in a forum, a selection of presenters are featured, and they're considered experts on a topic. This topic is then discussed openly and often publicly. Think, for example, of a local school district that might be holding a forum concerning shifts to the current curriculum. Next are panel presentations. And for reference, you can think about a conference-style event or maybe even training workshops where there are individual sessions or presentations arranged around, arranged around a centralized theme. Oftentimes, individual presenters are grouped together by expertise or subject and then present alongside one another, making brief presentations to a public audience. And finally, there are symposiums. Symposiums are designed really for industry professionals, a workshop or presentation space for people to engage in and share research, ideas, discoveries and innovations, maybe even solutions, and the like. Usually in a symposium, there are many speakers who do short mini presentations. Companies are now arranging for e-symposiums with all the different online digital software and doing meetings that can occur online, which helps them reduce their travel costs. In short, groups aren't so bad, especially if you grew up in the 90s. Shout out! or 2000s. So while I understand that group work and working in groups is not always ideal, the presentations can be fun, even challenging, dynamic, and you can learn a thing or two by working with others. Now I know that this digital lesson was very brief, and that's on purpose, because a lot of what goes on in group presentations simply has to unfold given the context and dynamics of the people involved. And again, you're not doing a group speech for this class, but there are several resources available for you at the end of this module that will help you in case you ever find yourself at work or outside of work needing to give a group speech. Thanks. And again, I know it's been short, but I hope it helped.